Hello everyone and welcome to our new section which is called Greedy Algorithms. Now before digging into Greedy Algorithms, let's see what we will learn in this section. First we will learn what is a Greedy Algorithm and why we need it. Then we will identify which algorithms are Greedy Algorithms that we have learned till now. So we have learned these algorithms in our previous videos so that's why I'm not going to go to the details of these algorithms. Then we will continue to learn activity selection problem coin change problem and fractional knapsack problem which can be solved using grid algorithm. So let's start learning them one by one. So the first topic is what is grid algorithm. Now to make things very clear, let's try to understand a grid algorithm using a real life example. Let's say we have a pile of broken bricks like this and our task is to create a wall out of these broken bricks. So how do we do that? So for the time being, Let's forget about grid algorithm, so use our common sense to pick up some broken bricks from here and build our wall. So it's obvious that the first thing that we will try to do, we will select the best bricks first and put it in our wall. Then we will continue to select uh, the second best, the, the third best and it will continue like this. So let's say in our case, this brick over here looks good to us. So we will use this brick in our first step of the wall. So we will put this brick over here. Then we will continue to look for the second best brick in this case. So let's say the second best brick in this case is this one. So we will take this brick and put it in this wall over here. And it will continue like this and we will select the third best brick. So the third best brick is like this and we will put it in the wall. So we will put best bricks in the first layer. Then we will put other bricks in the second layer and the third layer and it will continue like this until we finish the our wall. So our common says that we have to put best bricks in the first layer because we want to make our wall stronger. So that's why in the first layer we are always putting the best bricks. So basically the idea over here is in each step we are selecting the best brick at that time so we are trying to use it to build our wall. So as you mentioned initially this brick was best so we put it over here. Then this brick was best, we put it over here and it will continue like this. So this way we can finally achieve in creating our wall using these broken bricks over here. Now similarly, if we apply grid algorithm to this problem of building wall from broken bricks, the grid algorithm will do the same thing. That is, it will select the best brick at that time, then use it in the wall and then select the second best brick at that time, then use it in the wall and it will continue like this until the wall is finished and in each step it will select the best brick at that time. So hopefully you have got a very high level idea of what exactly is grid algorithm. Now let's look at definition of grid algorithm. According to the definition, the grid algorithm is an algorithmic paradigm that builds up a solution piece by piece. So in our example, you see that we have built our wall by using bricks piece by piece to come to the conclusion. So in each step we have put one brick to build our wall. So this part of definition is convenient to our task over here. The next important property of greedy algorithm is it chooses the next piece that offer the most obvious and immediate benefit. So it's similar to our example over here. So in each step we are taking the best brick at that time and placing it in our wall. In the second step we are selecting the best brick among the ones that left over here. So it means that in each step we are selecting the best option. So this offers us immediate and obvious benefit. Now the third property of grid algorithm is it fits perfectly for those solutions in choosing a local optimum solution also leads to the global optimum solution which known as greedy choice. So what do we mean locally optimum solution and globally optimum solution? Now in our example building first layer and second layer and third layer and others are local solutions. And these are the best local solution at that time. So if we combine all these local solutions, we get our wall. So this is global solution. This means that by finding local best solutions, we can find global best solution using grid algorithm. Basically, in each step, we are finding the best local solution. Then at the end, we are combining all these best local solutions to find the global solution, which is greedy choice. So hopefully with this example you have understood what is a grid algorithm. Now let's see what problems can be solved using grid algorithms. So here the first five problems that we have learned in our previous sections are solved using grid approach. And in the next lecture I will show 
how greedy approach works for these five algorithm that we have learned in our previous lectures. So these algorithms are insertion sort, selection sort, topological sort, Prim's algorithm, Kruskal algorithm, and we can include here Dijkstra's algorithm as well. Additionally, we will learn some other problem which can be solved using greedy algorithms. These are activity selection problem, coin change problem, and fractional knapsack problem. Now in the next lecture, let's see how these algorithms over here works for greedy algorithm. So why we are calling this algorithm grid algorithm. So see you in the next lecture.